Developing at 6, a grandmother who disappeared was found dead today in this overturned car. Channel 11 sent a breaking news alert to all of our app users this afternoon telling you about this very tragic ending to the search. And Channel 11's Erin Clark is live now after talking to her family members. And Erin, they think that she was out looking for her late husband. Yeah, Lisa, George Ann Faison's family believes that dementia and Alzheimer's played a role in this tragedy and that she could have just been terribly missing the man that she spent six decades with. Tomorrow marks two months since 81-year-old George Ann Faison's husband of 58 years died. I knew that <laughs> this was going to be coming. Tuesday, Faison's family found her body in her car overturned in a creek off Cochrane Mill Road in Jefferson Hills. The sad ending to a search after Faison's granddaughter reported her missing Monday and noticed something from her home was also gone. When we found Graham missing, she went and said, oh no, Grandpa's ashes are gone. Georgian and Jim Faison met in their early 20s at the end of a work day at Westinghouse in Pittsburgh. They married 18 months later and went on to live a life traveling by plane and later by train. Mom was a travel agent for 30 years, so they traveled the world together. I mean, they've, they've seen almost every continent and hundreds of countries and, and all the Caribbean islands. Faison's family believes dementia and Alzheimer's played a role and that she might have been looking for her late husband when she drove off. In the days before her disappearance, she talked about missing Jim Sr. Their son recalls something his father said a week before he passed. But he didn't want to have his ashes buried until mom passed and then their ashes to be buried together. Now, that is something for 58 years of, there, there's love to the end. So very sad, but I find that beautiful as well. And Jim Jr. says that he finds some solace in the fact that both of his parents live very full and long lives together. They each traveled to just about every U.S. state. And you know, Lisa, that's something that not everyone gets a chance to do. Reporting live tonight, I'm Erin Clark, Channel 11 News.